All right. Uh, welcome to today's q and A. I, uh, my name's Jared, obviously, uh, and today we are joined by Michelle Gubbles, who uh, is going to be helping us out with a, a program for our Blues From Home schedule this week. We're really excited to have uh, her be a part of our, our program uh, for, for our first ever Body and Mind session on Friday morning, which is something I'm really passionate about um, and I think is really important in terms of sport performance. And there's no one better to talk about that side of uh, sports performance and looking after your body and mind than Michelle, um, who joins us today. Thanks very much for jumping on and having a quick Q&A with me today, Michelle. My pleasure, my absolute pleasure. So, Michelle, I, uh, I did a little bit of research. Um, Karen Mitchell, who I believe is a friend of yours, sent your information uh, to myself and Wayne and said, reach out to, reach out to Michelle. She's a, she's a guru. Get her, get her on board and see if she'll help and do something with our Junior Blues. And um, you were, were gracious enough to agree and, and, and come and do a session. So we're really grateful for that. Um, I'd heard of, I, I had heard of you, admittedly, um, but I did a little bit more research just to, to, to do a bit of a deep dive on your background because I think your story um, and your career is extremely um, uh, impressive. So I think it's important that we don't just introduce you as someone who's going to be coming in and doing um, yoga or a Pilates session, sorry, for our, um, for our kids Friday morning, but also tell your background and your history in the sport because, yeah, it's, it's really impressive and I think it'll be great for our kids to know that they've got, you know, an athlete of the calibre that, that you are coming in and actually, um, you know, running a session for them. So just a little bit of your background. You are a Dandenong junior. Um, so you're with the enemy, unfortunately, with your junior, your enemy, but um, that's okay. And, and you represented Victoria Metro four times. Is that right? I certainly did. Yeah. So I was top age, under 16s, under 18s, bottom and top age and under 20s. So, and before you ask, it was silver and then gold, gold, gold. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So you adjusted, yeah, and then you were just three straight, rattled them off. So very impressive. And you received a scholarship to the AIS for how, how many years were you at the AIS for? I was only there for one year. So that year, so we played, we were still in WNBL then. Um, and yeah, it, it, it was a great year. I, I won't forget that year. And that's probably where I got my first, um, like, where we started doing weights and things like that incorporated. That's where I, I began to understand more about looking after the body and what you need to do to actually get on the court. Because before that it was, it was more just, we played, that's all we did. There was nothing else. So I guess that's where my love for yoga and Pilates and everything came on board as well. Oh, it's terrific, yeah. Uh, they do a terrific job up there at the AIS in terms of their facilities and their resources that they provide for those athletes in terms of strength and conditioning and stuff. So, um, but it's wonderful, isn't it, when you can play the sport, but then you can learn about the, you know, the, the, what goes into preparing as an athlete off the court as well. And um, so quickly before we get into that, you played WNBL, obviously played for the AIS as well, but then played for Nana Wadding and also for Dandenong. Certainly did, yeah. And, uh, and you had a pretty stellar career with Dandenong. You were selected in their top 25 players for their 25-year history. I know. But to be honest, I think I was the lower. Like, you got Penny <laughs> Taylor up here. I may have been the lower end of that scale, to be perfectly honest. But, hey, I'll take it. It was good. <laughs> did, they, did they announce a ranking? Uh, no, they didn't because they announced me midfield. And I, I think... <laughs> so, who, so, who knows? So, you could yeah. be number one. Oh, um, yeah. I'd, I'd tell everyone we're number one. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll roll with that. We'll roll with yeah. that. Yeah. No. Look, a terrific and outstanding achievement. Obviously, a, a historic club, and um, you know, one of the most successful, yeah, clubs in the WNBL, and um, and you were obviously a big part of that. Um, you know, era that was was extremely successful. So, uh, it must have been a, a hell of a basketball player, and um, you moved into, uh, I guess sports media to, to some degree. You, you're working in the commentary team for both Melbourne Boomers, but also for Southside uh, last year. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. So I've, I did 
Melbourne Boomers for two years. So the last two years and I just did Southside last year. So hopefully that continues again because you know how hard, it's the best job in the world just sitting there talking about what you see. We all do it at home watching TV. It's, uh, it's a really good gig. Yeah, that's it. Oh, fantastic. No, that's terrific. And now what I want to move on to is your, prof your professional career after, you know, not after basketball, you're still involved in basketball, but outside of basketball, I guess. And you talked about how that intertwines with your career as, a, as an athlete as well. Um, you've been a yoga and Pilates instructor for, you know, a better part of 10 years or 10 years for yoga. And, and you've also picked up Pilates now as well. Um, you were mentioning about Bikram yoga, which I think is really interesting. And, and maybe some of our kids wouldn't know necessarily about Bikram yoga, but also Pilates as well. Can you tell us a little bit about your career and, and what you're doing now in, in that space? Okay, so I got into Bikram yoga probably about 16 years ago when I started practicing. I'm not sure what, I think it was the heat. I wanted the heat when I did yoga. Yep. I had never done, never done yoga before. Yep. Um, so tried it, loved it, and then 10 years ago, I had to go to Las Vegas for 10 weeks to do teacher training um, to become a Bikram teacher and came back, started teaching. Then um, I got my Pilates. I think that that's probably about five years ago now. So now I teach the both. Um, Bikram is in 40 degree heat, so it's not for the faint hearted. Uh, but it is a great practice and the Pilates is in 34 degree heat. So not quite as hot, but you still, because we have high intensity as well in the Pilates, you, you do get a really good sweat up and uh, your heart rate up as well. Yeah. Uh, terrific. Yeah, I can certainly vouch for, for Bikram is not for the faint hearted. I reckon I gave it a try over summer. I did about three sessions. Um, and I went, yeah, no, nah, that's, um, I'm not, I, I couldn't hack it. I'll be honest. Um, I loved it. I, I, I did think it was terrific. I need to get back into it, but you're right. It is, uh, it is very challenging, but very rewarding. I think if you can stick at it over time, it's a really, really powerful practice. Um, just quickly before we wrap up, I, I want to let you get back to your day, but what I guess can we, or, or can you tell us a couple of things that you think in terms of for athletes right now and for, for our junior athletes that are going to uh, tune in on, on Friday morning, what, what do you think the benefits are for, for Pilates, but also the yoga um, in terms of transferring to their, their games, in terms of transferring to that on-court performance, but also that just that general wellness in life? Well, firstly, I will speak about core and like having a, a strong core now I wish when I played I was doing Pilates or doing and they have core advantage and everything like that now which is fantastic but that's essentially what Pilates is we're building our core strength through um, Pilates postures and we've got planking and proning um, awesome and it does it really does help you in your basketball with your balance just your body control um so and then you know the high intensity we hit at the end so for the kids who are not quite getting as much exercise as they'd like to now this is something that is quite low impact but it really gets your heart rate up and it, it is really well worth it so it, it actually even when we're not in these COVID-19 times, it is a good thing to still be able to practice your Pilates, even your yoga, just to stretch out those muscles that, you know, when you play basketball, you're just pounding those muscles. They're just tight, they're tight, they're tight. So stretching it out with yoga is really good too. So yeah, just a, just a balance of everything. Yeah, no, that's terrific, Michelle. Look, we're really, uh, we're really appreciative of, of your time. Um, and, and again, really looking forward to Friday's session. I'm sure our kids will be as well. So we'll get this Q&A up online with a little bit of a story, uh, a little bit more about your background and things like that. But we really appreciate you jumping on today. And uh, we're really looking forward to Friday to, to see that session. I'm going to tune in myself as well because I love Pilates. And, um, you just tune in. You've actually got to do it, Jared. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, my camera will be off, but we'll uh, <laughs> see. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll pick and choose which ones I join in on. I reckon I'll be, um, yeah, I'll be a bit wobbly, but no, I'll, I'll definitely give it a crack. So um, thank you again for your time today, Michelle, and, and, and in, in the future, in, in your time on Friday. We really appreciate it, and um, we're, we're certain that our kids are going to absolutely love it and benefit a great deal from it. 
Fantastic. My pleasure, Jared. Thanks. All right.